and today we are going to discuss a new topic is called a unit relational operations under the relational algebra there are two types of unit relational operations one is called as the select and next operation is a project operation first we will discuss what is in select operation and then we will discuss what is in project operation see here the select operation so what is the meaning of the select select means here it can select the tuples which can satisfy the condition and discard the tuples which are not satisfying the condition that is the main point in this select operation see the first point the select operation is used to choose a subset of the tuples from a relation that satisfies a selection condition it means that the relation r have a set of tuples from a set of tuples the selection operations can choose a subset of the tuples which are satisfying the selection condition right so the second point one can consider the select operation to be a filter that keeps only those tuples that satisfy a qualifying condition it is a filter filter means so it can scan the select operations can scan on the relation such that which are tuples are qualifying which are tuples are satisfying the condition those tuples are to be shown as a result and say third point the select operation can also be visualized as a horizontal partition right horizontal partition means so that it can divide the tables into the two partitions horizontally such as for example i have a relation state right as you mentioned another relation state it contains a set number of tuples 1 2 3 and so on n number of tuples and it is a horizontal partition and it is called as a p1 partition and it is a p2 partition p1 partitions contains the selected tuples and the p2 partitions contains the non selected tuples so that it is called as a horizontal partitions and now see that select operations can be denoted by a symbol that is called as the sigma see the format see the syntax of the select operation that is the sigma sign the selection condition and r is a relation name and here the selection condition that is either in this one of the format the first format is that attribute name comparison operator constant value once attribute name is one of the valid attribute from the relation r and comparison op operator means so there are six type of comparison operators one is a less than symbol greater than less than equal to greater than equal to and then equal to and then not equal to among the six type of operation operators any one of the operators is comes under the comparison operators constant values means any number of any number there is a fix that have a fixed value and second format is that the comparison operator is to be uh, enclosed with, with the two attributes that is the left hand side you have attribute name one and right hand side you have attribute name two right we will see the some of the examples then you can clearly understand how can write the selection condition see we will see the some of the example see the first example to select the employee to pulse whose department is for it means that we have to select the employees who are working in a department number for by using the relation algebra selection condition so that first i have to use what is the sign here the symbol i have to use for the select is a sigma and what is the condition department number equal to four so from this relation state so d and o d and o is a uh, attribute so that uh, select d and o is equal to 4 from the relation employee from the relation employee right and see the second example to select the employee to pulse whose salary is greater than 30000 right so we have to select the employees who are getting service more than 30000 so that here what is the condition that is the salary salary is greater than 30000 and we have to use the selection operation and from the relation the employee right so see the no point here the degree of the relation resulting from select operation is number of attributes is same as the degree of r so what it means that the resulting relation it means that here i have the two examples this is the first query and it is on second query both are returns the one result relation the result relation the degree of that result relation is same as the degree of the employee here what is the degree degree means the number of attributes in a relation so that the degree of this resulting relation is same as the degree of the employee what is the degree of the employee that is a 10 attributes order so that here the resulting relation from this query is also contains the 10 attributes okay 
Now, see well, we can also use the Boolean operators such as AND, OR, AND NOT to connect the two predicates. Right? So, for example, I have a query such that I have to I have to retrieve the employees who are working in department number 4 and getting the salaries of 25,000. So, for this query, how can we write? That is a select operation, select operation and department number equal to 4 and, and salary is greater than 25,000. Right? So, these two predicates are to be connected with the AND operator and operator and after this here I have to return that work in department number 5 and make the salaries over 30,000 30, so this is an OR operator so that here I have to write the OR right so that it is an it is a OR and department number equal to 5 and and salary is greater than 30,000 from the employee from the employee. So, this query is to be written here, right? So, see here. So, this department of 4 and salary greater than 25,000 is to be connected with the AND operator, and department of 5 and salary greater than 30,000 is to be connected with the AND operator, and these two queries and these two queries is to be connected with the OR operators, right? And we have one more property to the select operation that is called as a committee to. What is a committee to? So, you see the example here the condition 1 is followed by the condition 2. This also be written as condition 2 followed by the condition 1. Both are give the same type of result. Then, so that we can say that the select operation is a committee to property. Right? Well, second unary operation is a project operation. So, by simple, the project operation is used when you require some of the attributes of a relation, then you can go with the project operations. So, the first point here, the first point written as, this, it selects the certain attributes from the tables and discards the other columns at the time, we can use the project operation. Therefore, the result of the project operations can be visualized as a vertical partition. So, what is the vertical partitions? That is, if you have a, a relation state, such as, as in it is a relation state, if you make a vertical partition, it is a P1 partition, it is a P2 partition, the P1 contains the uh, required, required attributes and P2 contains the non-required attributes, is a vertical partition. But as in the case of selection, we can go with the horizontal partition. Now, the project operations can be generated by a sign that is called as the by symbol, right? So, see the syntax of the uh, project operation that is called as the pi attribute list and from the relation R, right? And see the some of the examples here. For example, to list each employee's first name and last name and salary, three columns are to be retrieved. Then, what is the query here? The query is the type symbol, the sorry, the pi symbol and LM, comma, FM, comma, salary from the employee right so that here i have to get the uh, this is resulting it is a one of the resulting relation it is a one of the resulting relation okay so now see here uh, this point if the attribute list includes the non key attributes of our duplicate tuples are likely to be occurred so what it means that if the attribute list it is one of the attribute list all all the attributes in this attribute list in this attribute list, all are the non-key attributes. From uh, actually, the employee relation contains the SSL is a key attribute. But LM, FM, salary in this attribute list it does not have any key attributes. So whenever there is no key attribute in this attribute list, then there may be of a chances. It is the not hundred percent. Only the rare cases. See here, the likely to occur, likely to occur, the duplicate recurs. In result relations, we can get the duplicate two tools that is to be in a very very rare conditions but automatically the project operations removes any duplicate two tools even though it does not contains any the key attribute also right so you see the one of the example on this topic see here i have a i have to I have to be retrieve here the sex and the salary of the employee so actually here 
I have the how many tuples are there? So total I have a eight tuples. From this eight tuples, I have to the sets and salaries, right? So see here, sets and salaries. How many records are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven records have to be returned here from the eight records. One of the record. So see here, I have the twenty-five thousand, right? See here, I have the twenty-five thousand, right? So it is a twenty-five thousand. And here also I have twenty-five thousand. One sex is a female, and it is also a female. So I have actually two records have to be displayed as in the output. But here, how many from from these two same records I have to get the only one record that is the F. Here, see here uh, is a F twenty-five thousand. Only one record is to be is there, right? So it means that automatically the project operations removes the duplicate records. And for this one, for this query, what is the corresponding SQL query? This is the corresponding SQL query. Select distinct salary from employee. Select distinct sex comma salary from employee. So see the term here. I have written the distinct here. Distinct means so it can remove the duplicate values from the result, right? And see the point here. The number of tuples in a result the relation resulting from a project operation is always be less than or equal to the number of tuples in R. Right? So what it means that the resulting relation, this is re resulting relation. How many records are there? So it is the seven records. So actually, the employee contains the seven record, eight records are there. So seven is less than eight. It means that we can get the less than or less than or equal to number of tuples in a R. But the degree of But the degree of this resulting relation is not the same as the our relation R, right? Because of here I have only the two attributes in, in this resulting relation, one is sex and salary. And what is the degree of employee? It contains the ten attributes out there. Okay. And it also it does not satisfy the commutative property. In the case of select, it satisfies the commutative property. Thank you.